Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're going to download a sample plan and I'm going to show you how to create your own texture. Uh, so what we're going to do, I've just gone to sweethome3d.com. We're going to go to gallery and in here we can actually download uh, an example, a sample plan to kind of do some things with. So I'm going to download this one right here, uh, this user guide example. It's a dot uh, sh3d file. So we'll click Save File, and I'll just download this file right here. Another way you can do it is right-click and go to Save Link As, and you can save it on your computer that way. But once that we have that, we'll just go, uh, it's in the Downloads folder, so if you're not sure, you just go to your file system, go to Downloads or wherever that got downloaded to, and we can find that file. And then we'll just open it up. So I already have this open here. I'm just going to close it, and we'll open it from the file that we just downloaded, which is, um, where is it? I don't even see that file now. Oh, right here, user guide, it's right there. So we'll just open this file up and uh, see what it looks like. So awesome, this is like a nice little sample um, with already like furniture and everything in it. But let's say we wanted to, I'm gonna resize this. Let's say we actually wanted to come in here and change uh, this floor and we wanted to create a texture. We wanted to, to change it to an actual uh, type of carpet that we're thinking about buying that is at, let's say, Home Depot. So we type in, let's just go to Home Depot carpet and see if we can find a nice uh, type of looking carpet uh, that we can create a texture out of. So this is really cool because see it shows us a sample of the carpet. So let's find a good carpet that has a little bit of character to it at least. And let's do, um, well, how about, uh, none of these have a ton of character, do they? But let's just do this one. This one has sort of a texture to it. So I'm going to select this one right here. I'm gonna click on this one. And we see it gives us a pretty nice big view of it. So if this is the carpet, I wanna try and see how it looks in that room with this color and this pattern of carpet. I can hit the print screen key on my keyboard. And then I can open up Microsoft Paint. I'll just click down here and start typing in Paint. And there's this Paint app. You could also do this in Photoshop or GIMP or any other program that you have. Then do your selection tool, right click and go paste. And then it just pastes a screenshot of whatever that was. So hitting print screen on your keyboard just copies the entire screen to the, your clipboard. And you can right click and paste that anywhere. And then we wanna cut out just, the, ver just the, the look of this carpet. So we wanna get our selection tool and we'll select very closely, being careful not to get too much white or any white really, let's go crop. Make sure we don't have any white on the edges. That looks pretty good. And then we'll just save this. Click the little save icon in the top left. We'll save it on my desktop and I'll call it um, carpet underscore pattern. Uh, dot PNG is fine. We'll hit save. So now we have this nice carpet pattern. I'll minimize out of all this. We have a good carpet pattern. If we open it up, it just looks like this. And you can do this with anything. You can do it with a wall texture, like a, a stucco texture, or any, any type of pattern you want to put in to, um, to Sweet Home 3D. So now we're going to open up Sweet Home 3D, and we're going to try and import that, because we want to put it as, as our carpet in here. So what we want to do is go to File, and we want to, or no, it's under Furniture, and we want to go to Import Texture. So now we'll just go to Choose an Image, and it says we can do uh, a, a BMP, a JPEG, a GIF, uh, or a PNG image. <coughs> so I'm going to select this image of this carpet pattern, and we'll go OK. And now it, was, it looks like this. Great. Let's just go continue. And it's like, what do you want to call this thing? And we'll call it carpet pattern one, two, three, four, five, or something, just so we know that this is like one. And the creator will say Home Depot. We could even put a tag in there, like what it was, like corkwood, um, we'll call it, in fact, we'll do carpet pattern corkwood is what we'll call it, so that we know in the future what we're using this. And then the width, uh, this doesn't really matter, but we, we really want it to be, you know, what an eight inch, you know, we just need to estimate and look and see how big is this square, do you think? I don't think that's quite an eight inch, I think this is more like, uh, more like maybe a six inch or a four inch square. So we'll say that this square is about six inches. 
by six inches. And then we'll say finished. And now we can just double click on the floor up here in our 2D model and then go to texture. And then we just find that texture that we have there, which is this user one right here, user carpet pattern corkwood. Then we click OK and OK. And now we're kind of using that carpet. So this is what that carpet would look like sort of in that room. You see what I'm saying? Um, something else we could try to do. Let's say we want to. Let's say we want to go back to Home Depot and want to do um, paint colors. We want to find a, a specific type of paint color. So we don't want to just choose a random color on our computer. We want to grab like a nice, uh, a, a nice color like this color right here might actually match our wall pretty well. So we find this color and we know exactly what color it is. Um, so to get a sample of this color. How can we do that? I'm actually just thinking through this right now to figure it out. So let's go to, let's see what options we have for our wall color first of all. So if we double click this, we can go to the walls around the room. Right now it's using this color. Okay, I know what we can do. So it's a, an RGB color and it, this, is, this code here is how we get it. We can also select with this color picker, we can select a color, but I don't believe it'll let us select it. No, it won't. It won't let us select a color uh, outside of here. So what we can actually do, we need, to, we need to find the RGB code for this color of paint. And to do that, we, we should probably install a plugin. There's a, there's a couple things we can do. I wonder if we right click and if we go um, inspect element. I'm just thinking out loud here guys because I don't know if we can actually really do this or not. I don't know if it'll tell us the color here. There's got to be a way to do it though. I'll bet there is. So I'm just looking over here to see if I can see like an RGB color real quick. I'm kind of like getting into the weeds here. So it does have a color. What's this color here? That might be the font color. Oh, you know what? This is a bad idea. What I'm, what I'm, the way I'm showing it is a bad idea because this is probably an image and it's not going to be an actual RGB color. So that what we should do is install a plugin so that we can find this exact color. There's a, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm just going to search for. Um, Color Picker Plugin. Um, this is I'm using Firefox, so this Colorzilla will, will probably work, or Color Picker Eyedropper. Let's do that one. And so this will just what it lets us do. We can read this extension uh, may not work as expected on Mac. Uh, okay, I'm using Windows. So let's go. Av wait, available in Chrome? No, 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 no. Let's go back. So this video is getting a little bit crazy. Let's do this Colorzilla. Because what we're, all I'm really trying to do is be able to find what that color is. So this is available in Chrome too. I want it for Firefox. So let's go, I'm just gonna search Color Picker Firefox. So to do this, uh, okay, there's one for Firefox. So let's do that. This Colorzilla will go add to Firefox and it just adds it in real quick. And now we have this little eyedropper here in the top right hand corner. If you're on Chrome or a different browser, you can find one. What we really want to do is just get a, an add-on an add to our browser that lets us choose and pick a color and find out what it is. So we're going to go to uh, Page Color Picker Active. We get this little crosshair and then we can pick this color and it tells us. And it's been copied to our clipboard. It showed us what it was for a second there. And so now it's copied to our clipboard. So we'll come down here. We can erase this whole thing and then do Control V. And now we have that color. We click OK and OK. Oh my goodness. So that was a lot of steps involved in doing that. So if you didn't understand exactly how we did that, you might want to rewatch and see. But essentially, we had to find the color. So now this color of walls and this carpet are associated with this same color that we found here and the same carpet that we found on Home Depot. <sighs> So unfortunately, this has the, see this is the color code of the color of paint, but the way that the way that pixels are done on the computer screen, we actually just picked the the color in the RGB, the red, green, blue value, and then put it into here. So I apologize if that didn't make sense and we if we spent a little too much time doing that, but for those of you that were able to pick up on it, that's a way that we actually can figure out this room. And then we can right click and go virtual visit, and now we're in here in this room looking around seeing what the carpet looks like, seeing what the walls look like. We can scroll wheel and walk around or we can walk around here. 
So really, really, really cool stuff for as far as visualizing what a color and a actual carpet texture will look like in real life using real ones that you can actually buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever your material building supply store is. So I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks for being patient with me, and I will catch you on the next video.